So this week's tool review is on the Black & Decker Auto Wrench, and this was sent in by YouTube fan and Twitter follower GTO67. So thanks, man, for sending this in. Um, it's actually pretty cool, um, but the standard for crescent wrenches is uh, really the two that I have. One is my uh, American crescent wrench that has uh, increments and readings in inches, so it's very precise. Um, it's very strong and, and heavy duty. And then I have my little China Standard Crescent Wrench that I use on my uh, Japanese bikes. And of course the China Standard is metric. Um, so I use this a lot on my, you know, my cafe racer and things like that. So based on that, this is pretty cool. Um, the Black & Decker Auto Wrench has an index on one side for inches and it goes from zero to an inch and a quarter which is cool in itself, but on the other side, it's got millimeters, and it goes from zero all the way up to 30 millimeters, and millimeters are metric, so you can use this like on Yamahas and stuff. Um, the other side, the inches you can use like on your Harley Davidson or your Briggs & Stratton lawnmower, um, but what makes this doubly trick is it's actually a power tool. It's got batteries in the handle, and it's got a button here that'll open and close the jaws automatically. So it's not only easy, but it'll also index directly on the bolt automatically, just like that. So that's extremely cool. Um, the only drawback is it's really light and cheaply made. It's very, very flimsy. And on a scale of one to five, I basically give it a two out of five. And that's about it. Although it's pretty cool, I'd still rather stick with uh, uh, the set. Um, so GTO 67, uh, based on the two out of five, I'm going to send you two out of five Ichiban moto stickers and you can put those on your bike and I guess I'll see everybody next week. But in the meantime, have an awesome Thanksgiving.